my name's Alice and I'm a research scientist at the University of Southampton the Zeppelin Institute. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my research and show you around my lab. But first we've got to get our PPE on. PPE, personal protective equipment. First, lab coat and gloves. The reason we have to wear the PPE when we're in the lab is to protect our skin and our clothes from harmful chemicals. Also to stop our skin contaminating the experiment. The research I do here is to design and manufacture tests that are made out of paper. They are very small, they are very easy to use and they are very cheap. First of all we have to decide what disease we are trying to identify. Then look for the biomarkers that are associated with this disease. A biomarker could be any number of things, a small molecule, a protein or even parts of DNA. Once we have these we can find the antibodies for these biomarkers and start to build our test. We use these antibodies to detect the biomarkers that we look for in our test. That's because these antibodies are highly specific. That means that they won't bind to anything else except the marker that they're looking for. The lateral flow tests are made up of multiple components. The sample pad, where you add your sample, which could be blood, saliva or urine, which goes to the conjugate pad. This is where all the reagents that are needed for the experiment are already there. This is all on a membrane that's made of a fibrous material, just like paper. The test line is the line that tells you whether the analyte is present in the sample, meaning have you got the disease or not, just like pregnancy. The control line will, should always be present, that's to make sure that the test has worked correctly. The basis of the test is paper, as you, like you can see here. This machine, which uses a small head to dispense the liquid, much like a printer you might have at home. The next step is once we've printed one big test, we use this guillotine to make it into smaller tests, like this. Once the test is made, it's put into one of these plastic cassettes which stops it from getting damaged or getting wet. In reality, the test will be this big, but that's a little bit hard for you to see. So I've got something else to show you. Here you can see the sample entering the detection panel and the appearance of two lines. Once the background is cleared, they become much clearer and the test is complete. I really enjoy what I do because every day I get to learn something new and research things that really interest me. I'm personally really interested in healthcare and so developing diagnostics that can be used all around the world for me is a really fulfilling job.